to Workout Master episode 35. Uh, this is Ruben. And this is Aaron. And today we're going to talk about something that most of our clients don't really want to talk. We're going to talk about bowel movement. Pooping. How about pooping, guys? It's an exciting episode. We're going to talk about pooping. Uh, let's do it. Why is it important? Well, it's important because it's the system that the body uses to eliminate all the waste that the body has created by means of digestion. So if you eat food, you have to eliminate waste. It's just, you know, the law of nature and you have to do it in a daily basis. Yeah, it's a huge, huge issue, guys. Uh, back in the days, doctors used to use your poop to, or the patient's poop to figure out if there's anything going on with their body. So it was a very reliable source of information if there's a particles of undigested food, if there's a false smell, if uh, there's a color, parasitic infection, color, color, texture, all kinds of different things. So, but just by looking at the poop, you can mm -hmm. actually find out a lot about a person's health. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, unfortunately, today doctors don't want to look at your poop. They don't want to see anything. They don't want to ask you what you eat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a huge issue on its own. But nonetheless, the important part to understand how important it is to have a, an excellent bowel movement every single day. And what's the best, uh, what's the most uh, common sold drug over the counter? Oh, one of the most common drugs over the counter is gonna be anti-inflammatories and laxatives, both of them. I don't know which one sells more, but I know they're mostly wild, you know, they're widely uh, sold. Well, laxatives are definitely one of the millions and millions of dollars in a day. Biggest case. selling drugs out there. Uh, so the, there's big, uh, the issues with it, uh, a lot of people are constipated. Yes. I mean, yeah. seriously a constipated. A lot of people are inflamed because basically the, when you eat a food, your body wants to eliminate something that it doesn't need anymore. And if it sits, uh, right there in your colon, uh, over a period of time it starts decomposing and when it decomposes it releases the gases so people can tend to fart or burp because gas has to go either one way or another way mm -hmm. and over a period of time it basically creates a good environment for bacteria. Um, another big issue that people don't drink enough of water. That's right and if you don't drink enough water your body is going to feel dehydrated which makes you know going to the bathroom even harder. That's one of the main reasons why there's so much constipation in this country. Most people do not drink the necessary amount of water or they ingest other liquids that are not really have or they don't have the, you know, the principle of hydrating. Coffee, tea, sodas and stuff like that, they typically have a dehydrating effect at the same time that they have a displacement effect. And displacement effect means actually that it's moving some nutrients out of the body, you know, because it makes it harder for the body to absorb it. So anything that causes more work more stress you know to the body is not actually fulfilling the, the purpose of actually making the body feel better feel more wholesome so Absolutely. it's important that we drink like we have mentioned on an episode of water earlier that you drink about half of your body weight in ounces so if you weigh 150 pounds you need an average of 75 ounces of water a day that's simple absolutely uh so this is the uh, the main uh, point of uh this video blog mm -hmm. We want to make sure that you guys are aware that bowel movement, a uh, healthy bowel movement, happens on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. If you have any trouble with the constipation, diarrhea, fall smelling stool, undigested particle in the food, uh, uh, in the stool, and any sort of condition like that, mm -hmm. that is something going on with your body that you should be start being, not necessarily concerned, but you should start experimenting. Uh, to find out there's something that it's out of balance. Um, and that is exceptionally important because if that part of the system is not working, the, there's a possibility that something else is not going to work very soon. So you might end up having some sort of condition that it's a whole lot harder to get over with. Yeah? It has been demonstrated that about 90% of all diseases, all chronic diseases, begin in the colon. So for that matter, it's important that you take care of your elimination process and that it's as effective as possible. So like we said, drink your water, chew your food really good so you make it easier for your stomach to break things down. So as they pass along to the, to the GI tract, 
they have an easier time being absorbed and therefore you know you know they assimilated and therefore later eliminated. One thing that's very important about having healthy habits of going to the bathroom is to never suppress the urge. And most people have a big peeve about not going to the bathroom number two when they're outside of the house. I can understand that. Nobody likes to go and use a dirty bathroom. That's that's plain nasty. But you know, if the bathroom where you might go is actually clean, your office or somebody else's home, somebody else's you know job or whatever, wherever you are, do not suppress the urge because what you do is that you're retraining your elimination system to actually hold itself, like almost hold peristalsis, which is the process of, of the fecal matter going through the through the colon into uh, outside, and it's very important that you don't suppress the urge, right? Because then you Absolutely. retrain your body to actually hang on to that material. And that's the last thing you want to do. It is waste. You will not keep your garbage in your house for X amount of days. It's like that if it was stinking the house. You will you know, start it out and, and take it, and take it out. And uh, quite often time, these people that are very retentive, you know, no pun intended, but there is something to that as well. Um, your skin will begin to look ugly. You, it will not have, you know, your body will not have a pleasant smell. Your body will smell pretty rotten, as a matter of fact. Your sweat will smell, you know, also pretty nasty, and uh, and that's that's an indication that your body needs to eliminate. I'm not saying that at that point in time your body requires to go to a thorough detoxification because that's not what I'm saying. But at, what what I'm telling you is that you have to go to the bathroom every day. And I've consulted with people that go as as seldom as you know once a week or once every nine days. And you have to realize that if you're eating you know three four meals a day, including a snack. And you know that amounts to about you know twenty one to you know to twenty eight meals. And how come you only you know you so you're having twenty eight intakes of food and you only having one elimination? Well, that elimination better be the size of, the size of a Mini Cooper, because otherwise you know you, that means that you're retaining a lot of stuff. And when I tell you that you are what you don't eliminate, I fully mean that. You know, if your body is full of all this you know waste material. It's gonna toxify. It's gonna literally poison your body from the inside out, and your skin will never look good. Like I said before, you'll never have you know a good energy because that stuff is actually waste. Waste metabolic waste, waste causes a lot of stress to the body, so it has to be eliminated in a very efficient manner with the least amount of stress in the body. And what's the best way to do it? Well, you need to sweat every day, or just about. You need to be able to go to the bathroom every day because those are the pathways of elimination. So, go and do it. Exactly. So, uh, guys, if you have ever feel constipated, there's a few things you can do. Uh, number one is to drink a whole lot more water than you're drinking right now. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can do some exercises, something like squats, breathing uh, squats, breathing squats yeah. where you go all the way deep so you actually create the movement that it's kind of like a peristalsis movement, mm -hmm. so it'll help you move uh, stuff out. Uh, you can probably take some natural laxatives, uh, something like an Epsom salt. But ultimately, what we want to make sure that you are aware that it is a very important subject mm -hmm. and it needs to be um, perfected uh, as much as possible. Uh, so, good amount of water, good exercise, good movement is important. Uh, I would recommend, like we talked about uh, in that digestion, about uh, taking some uh, hydrochloric acid probably or some digestive enzymes. It's definitely going to help you with digestion. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, let's talk about, for example, when people mention, you know, I don't go to the bathroom, should I take fiber? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very tricky subject or a very tricky thing to do. Because if you are, for example, let's say that we classify you into the three main groups that metabolic typing talks about generally, the protein, the mix, and the carbohydrates. Uh, protein types, since they need so much protein, uh, saturated fat, and very little vegetable or fruit or plant matter in that, in that regard, they have to be very careful with how much you know, uh, fiber they give themselves because that fiber can actually clog you. It can make things actually worse. So typically what happens with protein types is that they're having a hard time going to the bathroom. Well, number one, they're not eating good ratios of protein, fat, and carbohydrate. That's one. They're not eating enough fat, which is part of the, what I just mentioned. They're not drinking enough water. They're probably not sleeping enough. And fifth, but not last, they're probably a little sympathetically overloaded. So they have to be more relaxed. The process of elimination is actually a parasympathetic response. So you have to be nice and cool for the bathroom, to, you know, for your body to want to go out of the bathroom. If your body is a little too amped up, 
too wrapped up, is not gonna wanna go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's absolutely. not how the process. It's so hard to issue. It's hard to go to bathroom when you're stressed. I mean, well, well you, what you might find, some people say, well, it's not hard at all for me because you know I'm getting this. Then you, know, you probably get the diarrhea. They probably have these, you know, these huge bouts of, of diarrhea, which is also another way for the body to get rid of, of the uh, of the of the waste. But it's not doing it in the in the proper sequence because you notice that you know that it hasn't been completed. Let's say you know the the cycle has been interrupted. Yeah. So all the people that actually do better with eating a lot more quantity of, of fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, they will do perhaps, quote unquote perhaps, you know, taking some fiber. Well, but not everybody. this is the thing with the fiber. It's, it's not a magic pill to, mm -hmm. to fix any solution. Neither does anything truly. Uh, so sometimes fiber may be helpful. Sometimes it's actually my work against you. Right. So if it works, definitely use it. If you try it and it doesn't work, definitely stop using yeah. it. And yeah. the way to know is that if you're taking some type of a fiber supplement and you go to the bathroom frequently, once, twice a day, three times a day, which is perfectly normal, you'll notice that the bulk of that fecal material is much larger because, because it's been, the fiber has been volumized with, with some type of, of a fluid that was in your body. So that's good. The other thing that I, uh, I'm not really in favor of is people that actually use uh, laxatives as a means of going to the bathroom because they're actually they're interrupting the process and actually detraining once again the process of elimination and people that do frequent that colonics. That is they do consistently. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people that do colonics. Colonics are great. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying nothing against them, you know, but be careful how frequent you use them and for what purpose. Because the fact of the matter is that the colonics is almost like, you know, like a forced evacuation and the body will actually learn not to do anything about it because it's being helped from an outside, you know, exogenous from an outside source. So you can actually, once again, that's one more way to detrain your body to do its natural function of elimination, peristalsis, which is the movement that the intestines have to move, you know, food, you know, along the intestine and then, you know, going into the large intestine as metabolic waste, it will be kind of, you know, halted. And that could be, that can lead to a lot of troubles because you're gonna have all this retention of all this crap, you know, literally, and, and it, that's gonna toxify your body. Yeah. So guys, pay special attention. If uh, and nobody wants to go to the bathroom after you went to the bathroom, there is an issue. Chances are it's a smelly bowel movement, and that's a very good indicator of something basically rotten right inside of you. Yeah. Uh, if there's a constipation, diarrhea, farting, burping, any kind of issues with uh, with the elimination system, mm -hmm. pay very specific attention to it. Try to fix it, look for solutions, uh, comment, ask questions, and we'll be happy to help you as much as we can. Yeah, this is a very tricky, very subjective uh, uh, subject, and, uh, and, and there's a lot of things that can change from person to person that you have to have you know, good handle on the situation to be able to assess a person and to guide them through what's the best thing for them. Because like I said, from person to person it changes quite a bit and you have to be well versed in the subject to be able to uh, guide people through the right track so they don't, you know... It's they don't black and white necessarily. Yeah, they don't experience, so they don't experience any more negative effects uh, per se. Okay. Um, you have anything else? I don't think so, I think that's a good... Uh, Alright guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you poop better, then your future looks better already. Absolutely. And we're gonna see you shortly. That's right. Don't Thank forget, you. do not suppress the urge. Go to the bathroom as soon as you feel that you have to go to the bathroom, regardless of what it is. Just make sure the bathroom is around. Yes. Bye, guys. Take care.